Hello there, my name's Scott. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Libero electronic pipe, which I received from www.libero.co.uk. Before I start, though, I must point out I did receive it free of charge for the purpose of conducting a review, but my opinion of the product remains true on its necro as always. Okay, so let's go straight ahead and show you what's in the box. Okay, so the Libero electronic pipe comes in a uh, pretty hefty looking box. If you lift up the lid, Inside you're going to find a user manual and underneath the user manual you're going to find the actual electronic pipe and you'll see that it already comes attached with one mouthpiece and they also include a spare mouthpiece too. Here you would normally find the charger but according to the sticker it says to meet UK compliance they have to include that separately. So um, separately in the jiffy bag they include this uh, charger with a, uh, a mains plug. You're also going to find two 900 milliamp hour 18350 batteries and uh, in the kit that I received, I received three pre-filled um, 18 milligram strength pipe flavoured cartomizers. Now I was originally sent this kit around five or six weeks ago, so quite a long time now. And since that time they've actually changed this. So now it comes with three empty cartomizers plus a five mil bottle of uh, like a pipe flavoured e-liquid. So you will need to uh, fill up the cartomizers yourself before using. Okay, so let's go straight ahead then and uh, take a look at the pipe in a little bit more detail. Okay, so here are all the parts that make up the Libero electronic pipe. You have the main body of the pipe, you then have a 900 milliamp hour 18350 3.7 volt battery, the battery cap, a 510 cartomizer, but unfortunately they're just a little bit longer than your standard size cartomizer and a little bit shorter than your XL size cartomizer, which means you are limited to this uh, one specific cartomizer. And finally, you get your plastic mouthpiece. Okay, so here we have the main body of the pipe, which according to the website is made out of wood. Like I said, it does have a 510 connection, which you can see right down the bottom now. And in this section here is where you're gonna basically install the battery. Now installing the battery can be a little bit of a pain in the ass because you've got to sort of try and push it down and then slide this little arm over to make contact with the positive. So to install the battery, you've got to install the negative ending first, and that just drops down now. You need to sort of try and push it down and hope gravity will help you out a little bit by getting it a little bit over. And then you've just got to slide it all the way home, which I'll hopefully do like that. Okay, so that is the, uh, the battery installed. Now the next slightly awkward thing to do is to uh, screw the battery cap in place. Now a few years ago uh, I reviewed the DSC 601 electronic pipe and this is very similar to that and it had exactly the same uh, top cap. And the problem is that there's nothing to grip hold of so it makes it very hard to screw into place and to obviously uh, unscrew as well especially if you over tighten it. And I find the best way to do it is to basically try and sit it so it's completely flat on top and then just rest your fingers and give it a very slight twist. And uh, that is about the only sort of logical way to do it really. And I would say don't over tighten because if you over tighten this it makes it extremely hard to be able to unscrew again. Okay, so that is the, uh, the battery cap in place. Next thing you need to do is obviously install the 510 cartomizer. Like I said, um, I've been saving this one cartomizer basically uh, for the actual review. Uh, but I believe the kit comes with um, three empty cartomizers, which you will need to fill up with e-liquid. They do include five mil of e-liquid as well. So this is already a, like uh, one of the pre-filled cartomizers, and literally all you got to do is drop it down the hole and uh, just screw it into place, uh, nice and easy. And then finally, you just need to attach the mouthpiece. Now, in all the other pipes I've reviewed in the past, or as far as I can remember. Uh, the mouthpiece just sort of pushes into place and then you have to try and sort of spin it around to make sure it's seated all nice and straight. Whereas on this one it actually has like a, a sprung loaded connection which makes it uh, a little bit easier to sort of line up basically. So all you've got to do is just uh, place it over the top of the cartomizer and then push it in, give it a twist and that's it, it's all locked in place. Okay so that is the Libero electronic pipe, let's go ahead and uh, see what it vapes like. Okay, so that is the Libero electronic pipe. So what I do now then is obviously go ahead and show you an action. So I'm using my uh, last remaining 
uh, pre-filled cartomizer, which is an 18 milligram strength, and it was pre-filled with a flavor called Holmes Blend. Now, like I said in the close-up shots, I did receive this around sort of five or six weeks ago now, and since then they've changed the content of the kits, and now it comes with three empty cartomizers uh, and a five mil bottle of the Holmes Blend e-liquid, so you will need to fill up the cartomizers yourself before use. Okay, so this is the uh, Libero electronic pipe. As you can see, like vapor wise, you know, it does produce a nice amount of vapor. I am finding though that a few sort of uh, primer puffs are required though before you start taking like your main inhale. And that's mainly because the cartomizers uh, on my Pro Vary, they're currently they are reading at uh, 2.5 ohms or 2.5 ohms, which is quite a higher resistance for sort of vapor that you sort of standard sort of 3.7 volts. So you know, a few sort of primer puffs before, and I suppose in a way like like as if you're smoking a uh, like a real tobacco pipe, you normally take a few sort of primer puffs beforehand. Uh, but yeah, definitely required if you want to get a, a decent amount of vapor. Yeah, uh, throw hit on it now. Whenever I do these sort of videos, I get I tend to attract the uh, hardcore tobacco pipe smokers come along and they start giving me grief because I'm inhaling rather than rolling it around in my tongue and then appreciating the flavour and all that sort of stuff. But if you do happen to be one of those people who like to inhale it as well, like myself, then you know you are getting a pretty nice uh, throw hit there. Now these are 18 milligram strength uh, cartomizers which uh, which I receive with the kit. And uh, I personally find that the higher the nicotine content of the e-liquid, like the stronger or the harsher the throw hit. And 18 milligram strength isn't sort of particularly high or particularly low, it's right there in the middle, but I'm still getting a nice sort of solid thump in the back of my throat. Battery life, obviously it uses those, um, I think it was at 900 milliamp hour, 18350 batteries. Now I've not been using this as an all day vape, this is definitely something for using in the comfort of my own home in the evenings in front of the telly. And I'd say that one of those batteries is last me probably around sort of three evenings worth of vaping at around one and a half hours, two hours at a time. So if you're going to use uh, like uh, one of these as your main all day vape for a moderate user, you're definitely going to be going through probably sort of good, sort of, I would have thought one and a half to two batteries a day, probably more on the verge of sort of uh, two, four batteries a day. So battery life isn't sort of too bad, but um, not amazing either really. But like I said, you know, one of these batteries has lasted me around sort of three evenings worth of vaping. The uh, switch on it, obviously it's an automatic switch on this one, so there's no little sort of uh, button suppress or anything like that. And it works perfectly every time you inhale, the LED will light up a red colour, it'll activate the cartomizer, and you get a mouthful of vapour. So you know, the switch uh, works absolutely perfectly. It doesn't really sort of require too much of a, an effort to activate it either, you know, just a light drag, and it lights up. You probably can't see it though. Now overall it's just a, a nice electronic pipe, it's uh, very similar to the old um, DSC 601 but I'm glad to see that they've moved away from the old sort of polyester filled cartridges and they've moved on to the like the the, uh, the cartomizers now which uh, for me are definitely a lot better than these like the polyester filled cartridges. Only thing I would sort of say negative about it is that it's the size of the cartomizers that they've chose to use with this model. 
Now it would be a lot nicer if they, you know, if they just use these standard size 510 car atomizers. It means that they're readily available from pretty much everywhere. You can get them in low resistance if you want to have a bit more vapor, and etc, etc. Because um, like, if you put a regular size one in there, and basically like when you put the uh, the top on you're just not getting any vapor at all because there's not a nice or tight seal around the end there and if you try and use like the xl cartomizers or the dual coil ones then basically like the uh the mouthpiece just won't fit on because it's just uh, too long i'm sure if i wanted to i could probably you know come up with a little way of uh, using standard size uh, bow cartomizers in there uh, just by adding a little sort of rubber bung or something in the top. So you probably could do that, but it's just a bit of a shame that I didn't sort of choose to uh, use standard size cartomizers really. But the cartomizers that come with the kit, you now they are pretty good cartomizers. They produce a nice amount of vapor, getting plenty of flavor out of them. Moving on to the, uh, the scores then for the looks. Now I think it's a very nice looking electronic pipe. It does look uh, pretty real to me anyway, apart from obviously that top cap there. So I'll give the uh, looks a nine out of 10. Uh, for the vapor, I say it does uh, because the uh, the quite high resistance of the cartomizers, uh, you know, you do have to take a few sort of primer puffs to sort of get them heating up properly. So I'll give the vapor a seven out of ten. For the uh, throat here, I'm getting a nice strong throat here, so I'll give that an eight out of ten. Uh, for the battery life, you know, it's not bad. You know, you, I'd say if you're going to use it as an all-day vape for a moderate user, you're going to be looking at sort of two batteries. If you're going to be using it like myself just in the evenings, you can probably get sort of three evenings worth of vaping out of one battery. So I'll give the battery life a seven out of ten. Uh, for the switch, you know, it works perfectly every time you inhale, it lights up, it activates the other uh, cartomizer. Um, got nothing negative to say about the switch. I'll have to give that a ten out of ten. If you fancy trying one of these out for yourself, go along to www.libero.co.uk, type in this code at checkout, and that'll give you a 20% discount every time you purchase from them. Thank you very much for watching and also come along and visit my website at www.esigreviews.com. That's e-sig-reviews.com. Cheers guys, happy vaping. See you later.